Hey guys, welcome to my lipstick drawer. This is probably most of my lipsticks. There's probably a stray couple few here and there throughout, scattered throughout my purse and my house and whatnot, but this is most of it. So today's gonna be focused on the MAC lipsticks, which are all over here. I'm just gonna be going through and swatching them and get, getting rid of ones that I just don't love. The ones that just don't bring me joy. I thought that I would start the video off just by showing you the overview of the drawer and showing you the different lipstick compartments, the storage items that I have, because I think they're pretty cool. So my favorite ones for the MAC lipsticks are actually these, and these are, make sure I'm in frame, and I should have painted my nails. Um, I apologize, they're a little bit yellow stain from the nail polish that I had on. So this is actually a shotgun shell holder, and it did have a cap on it, so it did, you know, it had a cap. And I have a whole video on this, but it is a really old video, but I'll link it below. So anyway, my husband got these for me at Cabela's, and I don't think, when I did that first video, I couldn't find the exact clear ones online, but I'll definitely try to find something very similar and link it below for you. And yeah, so it just opened and he just took a saw, like right here, he just saw it off the edge. So it's a little rough, but he did a really good job. So I really love those. They fit the MAC bullets just perfectly. And then back here is just an acrylic holder from, those are a mixture of by Algary, which is on Amazon, great quality, but you can really find those anywhere. The container store, Bed Bath & Beyond. Yeah, I don't really love these drawers because you can't really get use out of all of them, meaning the Alex, these are Alex drawers from Ikea, they're the short wide ones. Try not to make this video <laughs> into a review about the drawer, but I know that it might be helpful to see how it's set up. Most of the other storage containers are just the acrylic ones. These are the other acrylic ones that I have, just different shapes and they all hold different ones, but you can find exactly what you need. In the shotgun shell holder, which is this one, the mineralized rich lipsticks don't fit because it's like that larger, cap. So there is that. Now what am I going to be doing with the lipsticks that I am getting rid of here today? I'm actually going to be, well depending on if they're really old and not able to, I'm not able to pass them along, obviously I'll throw them away. Otherwise I'm actually going to be having an Instagram sale. So follow me on Instagram and I'm going to be giving you guys a heads up probably the day before I do the lipstick Instagram sale, I will let you guys know. Yeah, so I will be selling them on there. And most of them, if they're gently used and maybe only swatched or worn like less than five times, I probably will sell them for $10 each plus $2 shipping. So I think that's pretty fair. And obviously if it's been worn a lot, I'll just, and I don't want it anymore, I'll just get rid of it, like throw it away. So there's that. I've never done a mass Instagram sale like that. So please bear with the process. That is Ruby Woo, a matte finish. I love it, it's a beautiful red, but I don't like reds on me. I don't know why I even got it. Obviously that's the case with a lot of these, but I don't like reds on me because I used to work at Sephora and a lot of the gratis or free lip products that we got were red, so it would match the uniform and look really nice. And so I just got really sick of reds. So that's why I don't like them, that's a long story short. So I am gonna be passing Ruby Woo along, AKA selling it. This one is a cream sheen finish, it is speed dial. So there is speed dial, very beautiful, just kind of mid-tone, medium, mid-tone, warmish pink. Hmm, see, this is where it gets hard. I haven't worn it a ton, but that's not really a color that, it's an easy wearable color, but it's not like a color that I reach for all the time, so. Ugh, it's so hard. I don't know what to do. I might have a maybe pile. Okay, I'm gonna make a maybe pile. Next up is Hue. Hue is a glaze finish. There is Hue. Again, with the glaze finish, it's gonna be more sheer. I'm gonna pass that one along too. I'm gonna sell that one because it's similar to my NARS Raquel, which I love. And I like the formula more on that one. Nope, that wrong pile. Yeah, I'm gonna be brutal. I'm, I'm gonna try to be brutal on myself. This one is Hoop. Hoop is a satin finish. I will believe this was a re-promote or something like that. It was limited edition. That's really pretty though. Limited edition and 
whoop, it got re-promoted. So, hmm, I'm actually gonna get rid of that one as well. This one is flat out fabulous. It's a matte finish. And although it is beautiful, and I do like the formula of the matte ones by MAC, I just don't wear it enough, so I'm, I'm gonna sell it. All right, this one is Hot Tahiti. This is a glaze finish. There is Hot Tahiti. And I'm gonna sell it because for me, this is a fall color, and if I want to, if I want this color come fall, then I'll just buy it again, but I just I just don't need it right now. This one is Lovelorn, and Lovelorn is a, what are you again, a luster. And I'm keeping this one because I do really, really love this one. It's a really nice pink for me. And there you are. And I love that with MAC Dazzle Glass in Rags to Riches. Like that's my, probably like my favorite go-to pink combination, so I'm keeping that one. That's the first one I'm keeping out of all of these. Can you believe that? Okay, I'm just gonna show you that one, and I realized that my nails look really yellow, and I apologize, but I like to say that's real life. So this one is a luster finish. I'm not sure how to say it again. It's patisserie. I mean, I'm probably butchering that. And it's beautiful, easy to wear, but I'm gonna get rid of it, because I just don't. It doesn't bring me joy. Here we have Dark Side and Amplified Finish. Hey, there is Dark Side Swatched and this is a hard one. This one hurts, but I'm gonna get rid of it. I just don't wear it enough to keep it. This one is Honey Love. It's a matte finish. I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna sell it. I just don't wear it enough. Viva Glam 5 Luster Finish. This one brings me a little bit of joy, so I think I'm gonna hang on to that one. That's actually gonna be a really nice purse color to have. I do really like the glaze and the luster finishes because they're just easy. This one is heroin, it's a matte finish. I am absolutely keeping this one because I love it. So there's heroin. It's one of my favorites. This one is a luster, it is Milan mode. I want to say this one was limited edition, but I, I'm just not sure, so. And it has some silver flecks in there, but it's they're really small, or they're really fine. And that's probably the first time in a while that I've even swatched it. I don't even think I've worn this one, so I'm gonna get rid of it. This one is Ravishing. It's a cream sheen finish. And I, I can't tell you that I've even worn this one, which is really unfortunate and a little nervous to put this video out because I know some people will be like, why do you get, why do you have so many things that you never even wear? Well, obviously I'm kind of fixing that problem now by like going through. So there's that. But yeah, I just don't like that kind of color on me. So I'm going to get rid of that. So I put up that little, this is just like a little white plastic container. I thought that might be easier for you guys to see, to see the true color of the lipstick against the white background. So hopefully that's better for you. Okay, so this one I'm definitely keeping. This is Odyssey. This is a frost finish. This lipstick brings me joy because it reminds me of my friends Ashley and Leslie from Lip Gloss Leslie and Texas Mommy of Boys. And they're the ones that recommended it to me, so I love it. Another one that I love, and I think everybody should have it. It doesn't look like much or it looks like a weird color to have, but this is Pervet. And Pervet is a, what are you? It is a glaze finish, and I love this as a lip topper for any color, really, because it just makes your lips look fuller. It's just a really beautiful color, like if you put it in the center of your lips to make them appear fuller, and I love it. This is a Betty Draper Mad Men fans color that I love, but I honestly haven't worn it yet. I don't even know if I've swatched it. Maybe I've gently swatched it. This is so shod, shod, and it's a matte finish, and I'll swatch it for you guys, but I'm gonna get rid of it because I haven't even worn it yet, and that's ridiculous. So shot, beautiful, but somebody else will make it more beautiful than it would be sitting in my drawer. This is Fanfare, it is a cream sheen. Beautiful, really wearable color, but I'm gonna get rid of it. This is Giddy, it is a luster finish. And 
and it's really a beautiful warm tone everyday pink but I don't even I haven't worn it so I'm gonna get rid of it this one is blankety it's an amplified finish I know it's a lot of people's favorite nude but going back to my NARS Raquel audacious lipstick that I love for my nude my favorite nude so far that I found in my life so this one is gonna go Bye Blankety! This beauty is a Vegas Vault, also an amplified finish. Beautiful coral. But guess what? I haven't even worn it yet, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Bye! This one is Coral Bliss. It is a cream sheen. And I already know, without swatching it, but I will swatch it for you that there's a hair on me. But I am gonna get rid of it. It's just too much of a too orangey coral for me to justify keeping it. It's really Kind of sheer though, so it would be more wearable. This is kind of sexy. It is a matte finish. I'm actually just going to add this one in the maybe pile and revisit it because I have worn this one a couple times and I do remember liking it, so I'm going to hang on to that one for now. Put it in the maybe pile. This is Sushi Kiss, a satin finish. I'm going to get rid of it before swatching it because it's just not color that I love. More of an orangey, corally color, which I just don't, just don't wear. This is Fast Play. Are you an amplified? Yes, an amplified finish. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's like that Kylie Jenner 90s lip trend, but I just haven't been wearing that color very often, so I'm going to sell it. I'm going to get rid of it. This one is Cream Cup. It is a cream sheen. I love this color. I actually should probably back to MAC this one because I probably had it for like two and a half years now. So it doesn't smell funky, but that probably this watch probably looks really like real life because it has like that hair matted in there. So I'm sure you guys can get a really good idea of what it'll look like on your lips. Just kidding. This one is on hold. It is a cream sheen finish. And I'm getting rid of it, but here's the swatch. This one is Flamingo. It is a luster finish, so although it's really bright, probably won't come across that bright as swatched. It's a really nice corally pink, but those are a dime a dozen in my collection. So there's Flamingo, passing that one along. This one is Pink Nouveau. It is a satin finish, and I've worn it a few times, but not, not enough to keep it, so I'm going to get rid of that one. It's a beautiful pink, but like I said, like I've been saying, repeating myself throughout the video, somebody else can love it more than I can. Okay, this one is pink plaid. It's a matte finish. I'm going to put this one, pink plaid, in my maybe pile for now. This one is Sweet and Sour. It is a cream sheen finish, and I'm going to pass this one along. But here it is, swatched. It just makes me look like a duck with a beak when I wear that color. This is Bombshell, and Bombshell is a frost finish, so you can see like the sheen. Just really pretty gold sheen. I don't think I told you, but I'm gonna pass it along. Just don't wear it enough. This is Rose Lily, and it is a luster finish. I think this was limited edition, but I don't know if they like re-promoted it. But I already know it's too cool tone for my liking. So I'm gonna pass it along. It's really pretty though. This is Amorous, Amorous, not quite sure. It is a satin finish. This is one of my favorites for fall, like a fall lip. It is really beautiful. I'm going to put it in the maybe pile because I don't, I'm not sure. I don't want to keep it right now. Like I don't want to 100% keep it, but I don't want to 100% give it away. So I'm just going to think about it for a second. This one is Up the Amp. It is an amplified finish. I think I'm going to hang on to this one. I like it a lot. I just need to wear it more. Now I will be able to. This is Chatterbox and Amp. Amplified? Yes, an amplified finish. And 
it's really pretty, but I'm going to get rid of it for the same reasons that I'm getting rid of most of these. This is Razzle Dazzler, a luster. Oops. And it's just not my favorite kind of color, so guess what? I'm going to sell it, get rid of it, pass it along. This is Shy Girl, a cream sheen. Yes, a cream sheen finish. So there's Shy Girl. Just not my favorite nude color, so off it goes into the pile to sell. So here's an update. These are the ones I'm keeping right here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven only so far. I have five that are maybes over there. You can't see them, but over there. <laughs> and so I just have this little pocket to go through. And so these are the ones that I'm gonna get rid of and sell. I'm seriously doing so good. I'm so proud of myself. I'm being a very brutal. For the last little pot of regular MAC lipsticks, I'm gonna change up the format and pull it out and just show you guys like my initial thoughts. And yeah, let me know like what format you like me to edit all around like I did in the previous part of the video. Because I do plan to go through my... Let me know if you guys want to see my entire makeup collection like declutter like this. I've already been doing some decluttering, but I'm actually having a good time doing this and it feels really nice. So let me know like what format you guys want to see it in. And let's go. <laughs> and I do apologize that my nails, they look so bad. Like, they're so yellow and stained, but you know, whatever. So this one is Snob. See, I didn't even have time to like clean it off. But let me do that, because that looks kind of gross. So there is Snob. It is a satin finish. Not sure about this one. I'm gonna put it in the maybe pile. It's not my favorite, but it is a nice one. I do like it. I love the lip, oops, I just moved move the camera. I like the lip gloss of Snob a lot more. It's a lot more wearable, but I do like that color. I will show you though, I do like to mix that Snob color with the Bite Beauty Kava lipstick. It's that taupey, purpley, lilac-y gray. And I like mixing the baby pink with a color like that that's a little bit hard to wear. This one is Lip Blossom. It's a luster finish. And I don't see myself wearing that one, so that one will go away. That's really pretty though. This one is Sophistico. Is that what, how do you say it? Sophistico. It is a luster. It looks pretty awful. It doesn't look very flattering in the in the tube. But it is really pretty. But I feel like I need Jeopardy music doo -dee -doo -dee -doo -dee -dee to decide. I don't know. I feel like I don't know. I'm gonna put it in the maybe pile for now. This is Capricious, a luster finish. This is a really great one for fall, like that beautiful fall berry lip. And I like Capricious. I'm going to keep that one. Candy Yum Yum. Ooh, see? That one is pretty messy. Ooh. So, yeah, I've worn it. Obviously, it'll mix with something. I actually wore, I think last time I wore it, I remember, because that's how few and far between the times that I've worn it. But I've worn it with Heroin, that matte purple color. And I just put this one like in the center of my lips for a little bit of dimension and it's really pretty together. So that is Candy Yum Yum. I am going to keep it because I'll probably get rid of a lot of my hot pinks that are like that color. And this is a good formula to have it in. So I'm going to hang on to it for now. I feel like I'm getting softer as the, as the video goes on. All right, this is Rebel. Obviously, I'm keeping it because I freaking love Rebel. This is a really weird crevice that I must watch it. You guys have all seen that one, though. Rebel. One of my faves. Oh, Rebel is a satin finish. Satin finish. This one I'm keeping. It is Angel. It's a frost finish. It's definitely a great one to have and one that I recommend for any of you who are looking for like first timer lipsticks for MAC. It's just a really easy one. Don't let the frost 
finish scare you because it is really, really wearable. Another really great purse color to have. This one is Dubonnet, Dubonnet. Pretty sure I'm saying that wrong. Amplified finish. It's a really beautiful one for fall and winter, but I just don't love it enough, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. Look how beautiful that is. That is so beautiful. But I can't do it. This one is Midi Mauve. Pretty sure I'm keeping this one because I love it. This one is a Lester finish. It is more like of a brownie mauve. Whoops, where are we? But trust me, it is actually really, are you in focus? It is actually really flattering on the lips. I love that one. This one is Twig. It's a satin finish. Hmm. So there's Twig. I'm going to put that one in the maybe pile for now because I like it a lot. I see myself wearing it often, but I'm just going to have to see how many of the similar colors that I have. So uh, maybe pile for now. This one is a cream sheen. It is cross wires. Fortunately, or fortunately for whoever wants to buy this, or if they do, I haven't even worn it or swatched it, I don't think. No, I, I mean, I probably swatch. I probably swatch everyone, but I do it like when I first get it, I just want to see the color. I'm like, baby swatch. <laughs> but yeah, that is cross wires. It is a cream sheen finish. It's a really nice color, but not for me to have because I just can't love it. This one is captive. Ooh, another one of my fall favorites. It is a satin finish. I'm going to keep that one. That one is really, really pretty. Brave. A satin finish as well. I'm gonna go ahead and hang on to that one as well because I, I do wear it a lot. This one is Fabby. Fabby is a frost finish. But a lot of the MAC frost finishes, you don't have to be scared of them because they're actually kind of flattering. I think they're really pretty. Ooh. See that gold sheen in there? Ooh, that's actually really pretty and unique. Got that candy yum yum stained on me. I'm gonna keep that one. That is really pretty. See how that shines? Keep politely pink a luster. Not very pigmented, but I think that's one that I would like to keep in my collection. So I'm gonna keep that one. This one is Mer, M-E-H-R. This one is a matte finish. This is another one that I have enjoyed quite a bit. So I am gonna keep that one. I believe that was a recommendation from one of my viewers that I don't wanna call you out, but you probably remember. You probably know who you are. Comment on a lot of my videos and I appreciate it. So that was a great recommendation from her. Oops. This one is a luster finish, it's Sweetie. Oh, that's actually really pretty. It looks like almost I have this random hair. Oh, it's like a lavender. I'm gonna keep that one, that's really pretty. I feel like I'm getting a lot more lenient as the pile goes down. Ramblin' Rose, a frost finish. It's just not one I see myself wearing, so I am gonna get rid of this one. I'm gonna re-swatch that on a clean hand here. So there's Ramblin' Rose. Pass that one along. Sell it. Next is Speak Louder. Ooh, that's pretty. It is a cream sheen finish. Is 
that's really pretty, but I just probably have way too many of those colors. So I'm going to get rid of that one. Cream sheen, fin cream sheen finish. This is cream de nude. Haven't even worn it. And it's just too nude for me. So I'm going to get rid of that one. I'm sure it would look pretty like mixed, but at this point I'm ready to let go. Faux, F-A-U-X, satin finish. I do believe I like this one a lot, so I'm gonna keep it. That's a really beautiful color. Your lips but better, right there. Pure Zen, definitely keeping this one. This is one of my favorite nude lipsticks, especially for fair skin girls. It's really pretty and it's a cream sheen finish. It has a nice peach hint to it, so it's not it's not hard to wear. This one is impassioned, an amplified finish. Ooh, that's really pretty, but I can't keep it. I just don't wear it enough. It's almost like a strawberry, pinkish red. So impassioned, I'm gonna put that up for sale. Plumful. I like Plumful. A lot of these colors are like my favorite fall colors, but I'll have to just start wearing them any, anyway. This is, yeah, Plumful. It is a luster. It's really pretty, really easy. Like I said, I really like the luster and the glaze finishes. They're just easy to do, easy to throw on. We are almost done. Look at all this emptiness. Okay, please me. It's a matte finish. I don't know about this one. I'm gonna keep that one. That's really pretty. I need to wear that one more. This one is a frost finish. It is Creme de la Femme. <laughs> I really like this one too. It's unique. See that nice sheen? It's like almost a gold and silver sheen in it. Yeah, I really like that one. Keep. I think I am going to break this video up, you guys. Um, I still have to do my MAC Mineralize Rich formulas and then the Pro Longwear and then the Sheen Supreme. And yeah, so I'm going to break it up because I've been here for an hour already. I just don't want it to be super, super long. So I'll just make this part one and then part two will be up in a little while. So stay tuned for that. We're almost done with these, though. I think I just have a couple up. This is a Modesty. This is a Cream Sheen. And that way I can, I'm not going to film the other one right now, but I'll get your guys' feedback and see like what kind of format, you know, works the best as far as like, you want me to just give you my first impressions and go like I did like for the last half of these or what? I like that one. That's really pretty actually. I don't think I kept a lot that looked like that. So I'm going to hang on to that one. And last, I think. Is Naked Bud. Naked Bud is a luster. I think this one was limited. Hmm. I like that one though. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. So a wrap up is eight lipsticks that are maybes. So as far as like what I'm going to do with those, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to maybe just put them in the drawer and see which ones I don't wear like the next month or so and then go through them further. And then the ones I'm keeping are all right here. And I have, I think, exactly 25. Let me show you. Yeah, so these are the ones I'm keeping. Oops. And they fit in there really nice. All is that 25, 5 by 5, 25, which is how much one of those shotgun shell cases, I think it's a 25... 25 round or something like that. I'll, I'll list it below because I don't know my guns. Um, but yeah. Oh, no. Wait. Just kidding. There's actually one right here that I forgot. It's a regular one. This one is Girl About Town. And where are we? It is a an amplified finish. Oop. So I'm going to get rid of that one just because it's a little... I can definitely do like Candy Yum Yum as more... Candy Yum Yum or something... I lost my focus. 
So there, that one is. I'm gonna get rid of that one as well. So, if I did miss some other ones, I will go ahead and just put them in the other videos, but these are all the ones that I'm going to be getting rid of, selling. I, I'm gonna sell all of them because they all smell fine. They're all very, very gently used. So yeah, follow me on Instagram. I'll have it below. I don't know when I'm gonna do the sale. It might be the following week from when you're seeing this video because I am gonna be out of town. So obviously I need to be home so I can get the sales going. And if you're not familiar with an Instagram sale, you need a PayPal account and it'll be first come first serve on the Instagram. The details will be all on there when the sale starts and stuff. So like I said, I'll give you guys a heads up. So yeah, make sure to follow me on there. And I'm kind of new at it as well, so bear with me. And I hope you guys can find or get some gently of my gently used lipsticks. And of course, I will be spritzing them with some alcohol and sanitizing them, of course, before I send them out. So stay tuned on Instagram for the sale and stay tuned for obviously more videos and more declutter type videos. Let me know if you guys liked it, like what feedback you guys have. You know, I'm always open to constructive feedback. And I don't know if I'm gonna do a weekly favorites this week, the beauty buzz, just because I didn't really have a lot of favorites. So my favorite is like decluttering. And I actually got some new makeup storage and organization so I can do an updated room tour if you want. And maybe or maybe not my makeup collection video will be coming shortly. So make sure to subscribe if you're not. You guys wanna know how many lipsticks I'm getting rid of? Let me count those. There are 34, whoop, lipsticks. 34, three, four that I'm getting rid of. So I'm just excited to be free of them and have them go to homes that will love them more. So yeah, again, you guys, I feel like this video is really rambly, but hope you guys enjoyed. Hope it was helpful. And I'm excited to keep the lipsticks that bring me joy. I'll see you guys later. Bye.